Hey, 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 welcome back to another Prairie Sunset Ranch Farm Vlog. I'm Aaron the Beef Baron. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, my friends. Well, this is the video I wanted to put together for quite some time now. This video is for you beginners, you rookies, you guys and girls just getting into cattle or beef farming, or even for you senior, uh, senior veteran uh, cow ranchers. It might be for you. You might have something to tell me. You might agree or disagree, so that's okay. <laughs> It's all full of love out here. It's all love. It's all beef talk. We're going to be talking beef. So Aaron, I want to get into cattle ranching. I want to be a cattle farmer. I want to raise some beefy girls. <laughs> How are we going to do this? What should I raise? Should I raise large frame, medium frame, small frame beef cattle? What, uh, what breed? Well, we're going to touch base as to my thoughts on profitability of large frame versus let's say medium and small frame cattle. Do bear in mind, these are my thoughts. I'm just throwing out the ideas for you to think about. You're going to have to, through your own uh, operation setup, you're going to have to determine what suits your business model best. However, this is for my business model. This is These are strictly my thoughts. So you might not agree with me. That's okay. <laughs> now, when you're talking beef cattle, you're gonna have many different options. You're gonna have big girls, medium girls, small girls to pick from. For example, I'd consider this girl, ah, she's a medium frame girl. She's, she's nice. She's got a big calf on her. So she's not super, super, gonna score super high coming in from the fall, but her calf is massive. So even our bull, our bull is no behemoth. We picked him for, he's a very docile, uh, we had him tested. He tested really well, uh, the scrotum, uh, uh, semen, etc. So he's a nice little guy. He's got lots of growing to do, but he serviced this whole herd no problem. Point one. Now bear in mind this this math. I made the math simple. So I'm gonna use thousand pound cows versus fifteen hundred pound cows to keep it simple. Keep the math simple. <laughs> so let's say we have, for example, five hundred acres. If you have for example, 500 acres, you're gonna be running, let's say you wanna run approximately 100 cows on those 500 acres. So you're gonna be running, let's say, 100, 1,500 pound cows, female cows or breeding stock on that pasture. And on the other side of the coin, you could have 150 head of 1,000 pound girls. Now fall time has come. Fall has come here. We're gonna be in fall very soon here ourselves. So let's say you got about 650 pound uh, girl, uh, calves coming in from those 1500 pound girls. Nice looking calves. I bet you, I bet you they're nice looking. But on the other side of the coin, <laughs> you got 450 pound calves coming in from those thousand pound girls herd so that thousand pound uh, cattle herd they're bringing in 450 pound calves the big girls the big heavyweights they're bringing in the 650 pound calves quite a difference now at this point in the story let's figure this out let's talk auction let's talk marketing of these calves because we're going to be marketing these calves to make money and uh keep this cattle operation going if you are in cattle then you probably know the market very well that's something we watch on a weekly daily basis so these 450 pound k hey, t-rex i'm trying to talk t-rex there's her calf way over there that's what she's anyways these 450 pound calves the buyers are gonna like them they're gonna see a lot of value in a 450 pound calf because they can fatten this animal up they can put it in a feed lot there's lots of value to be added to this smaller animal they as well are gonna like the 650 pound calf but they're gonna pay less the heavier calf will bring in less of a dollar value per pound obviously so you're gonna get substantially more per pound for the smaller calf. Now, <clears throat> for all intents and purposes, the prices might not be the same now, but let's say steers here, steer calves, feeder calves. We got, let's say $1.94 was the going rate for the uh, six to the 700 pound steer calves, feeder calves. 
uh, opposed to from the four to the 500 pound steer calves, it was 224 a pound. Now I grouped them together. For example, I used two 1500 pound cows. The profit they're gonna give you when you go to sell their, their calves, uh, uh, we're gonna say they're all steers, just to keep it simple. Uh, as opposed to the three 450 pound calves that you're taking to market for the lighter girls from the lighter herd. So at those prices, the two 650 pound calves are gonna bring you around $2,522. As opposed to the three lighter calves that will bring in $3,024. That's a $502 difference. I hope I did that right. Guys, ladies, you have to interrupt. That profit is for the same 500 acres of land, all right? So that's just kind of giving you an example of what those animals are gonna fetch you for those 500 acres of land. You can see what I'm getting at. <laughs> Do you follow what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, you got that, right? Is that right? Shake if you're right. I'm right. No? Maybe so. <laughs> so to put it into a larger perspective, the, the herd of the smaller, um, cows and their calves are going to bring in around $75,600 as opposed to the 650 pound crew they're going to bring in $63,050 now if we work in the heifers that were sold at auction let's just saying you're selling them all as uh, feeder animals um, we put the heifers as a dollar seventy-seven for the six to seven hundred pounders, and we put them for a dollar ninety for the four hundred to five hundred pound heifers. Let's just say the market's strong. Last I checked, the market was pretty strong on heifers, but we'll just go with that. This will give you a good idea. So when you combine both the steers and the heifers from the fifteen hundred pound cow herd, you're going to get combined profit of $120,575 and from the smaller framed cows from their herd you're going to get a combined uh, profit of $139,725 which gives you a grand total difference of almost $20,000. So that smaller crew is going to bring you uh, almost 20 grand more in profit and not even included in in this you could get really particular you could figure out how much more feed those bigger cows are consuming to raise that calf and to winter them etc so uh but just for just to keep it simple if you're looking at straight profit from calves and from the breeding stock that's what we got it's a pretty big difference now there's a few other factors i'm going to get into in a future video uh, however, to keep this video short enough, just so you have understanding what I was getting to, uh, these animals, let's take the 1500 pound girls in that herd, they're going to be a lot harder <coughs> on their pasture, on the, the wet areas, the damp areas, on, and just on the, the landscape in general. Now, they're going to consume a heck of a lot more feed as well. They're going to eat substantially more feed than those 1000 pound cows. Every piece of hay every time you give mineral etc that's going into your input costs so bear that in mind now when you're looking at it, winter months come winter months those big girls are going to eat a heck of a lot more now they got to metabolize this feed to stay warm so they're going to consume more it's just the nature of the game it's how it works so in my mind I think you would be better off raising a little smaller herd of animals. If you're looking at getting into cattle ranching, definitely don't write off an animal because they're not a tank. You don't necessarily want a bunch of tanks. Some guys do. Some guys know how to make money operating larger framed animals. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but I'm saying just give this a real good good look research it heavily make sure that these animals are going to fit your business model your protocol and they're going to be sustainable to where you're going to be putting them because at the end of the day all you have is genetics you have genetics and animals and if they're good you'll stay in business if they're not you're going to struggle but like these are beautiful calves and they came off the smaller girls 
you know like these calves are gorgeous I really have no complaints. So that is Aaron the Beef Baron's opinion on large frame versus small frame cattle and the profitability of them on your cattle ranch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Uh, please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. And also I'm gonna include in the description below another video I did for you beginner or rookie cattle guys and girls that want to get into cow ranching. It'll help you out setting up a ground plan to get into it. And feel free to message me on Facebook, Instagram, leave a comment below, and I try to get back to everyone. So anyways, with that said, this is Aaron signing off. We will catch you next weekend with an all new Prairie Sunset Ranch Farm vlog. Be there or be square, my friends. Bye for now. Have a great week.